Alright, as you can see we got the tire on, but I ran into a new problem. As you can see, I don't have a rotor on my wheel anymore. And doing my own work, looking things over, I noticed there was a hairline crack that was pretty long going through my rotor. So discovered a couple things. First thing I did started to get the bolts out of the rotor and man they were welded on and like always my rotors have been good for a long long time especially the back ones like I explained earlier if you look at my brakes video for the rear that I'm really a lot heavier on my front than I am my rear so my stuff in the rear lasts a long time so, with that said though, coming from the factory, I don't know why they do this, but as you can see the miles upon miles upon miles of blue Loctite on this. And you got metal going into metal here, and then coupled with that it's on a rotor for brake action that works it even more. After time, it's almost like solderizes together. I, I went to get this off and uh, saw what was going on and took it down to the local Honda shop and worked with the guy down there, used some of his tools and got it off. But with that said, when you, uh, if you ever, ever have to take your rotor off, don't use Loctite, man. It is so not needed, and it caused so many nightmares. I'm going to clean these up, and I'm going to run Teflon tape on these, and then put it on once I get my new rotor, and that's probably cost me a couple hundred bucks. Rotors aren't cheap, but what are you going to do? Well, it, was, it was a good find, because, but jump ahead of myself and clean these up, get the Loctite off of them, and then just wrap Teflon tape in them and torque them down. I don't know the torque setting off the top of my head. i got to look it up. But Loctite on, on the rotors, man, it's, it's a nightmare. I know they do it from the factory, but it is just so not needed. And if you have to take the rotor off, you got an impact driver or impact wrench or a long breaker bar just know that it's going to be a real mother to get out and make sure you get a good seat in there and then and just put a lot of feel in it because these bolts can tr these button head bolts that are really shallow in the head um, they can strip so easy and if you're going to do it and you feel that it's stripping on you just take the wheel into a shop and, and half the time they'll pretty cool We'll let you work with it to get it out. It's always better to go slow and, and work it out with a good bolt head, even if it takes a long time, versus stripping it out and having to get a strip bolt out. So, upon looking, I don't know if you can see, but that crack on my rotor was going on for a while because I got good brake pads, as you can see. There's good pads on these left. You know, well, but I don't know if we can pick it up on the camera or not. But on these, these are all gouged all the hell. I don't know if we can pick that up or not. So I got, so not only I got to swap out rotors, but I'm going to swap out, swap out brake pads as well. Because even though my depth is good, these got marred up. And I have no idea how my rotor got cracked like that. Anybody's guess is as good as mine. So, but once again, fine combing over your own work when you find stuff like this. So, I'm gonna break again. And in the world of video, when I come back, the road will be here. But I think I'm gonna have a few days' wait on that. So, back later.